Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're gonna go over the easiest method for getting Feebas in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So Feebas is a very difficult Pokemon to obtain in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It has a crazy low spawn rate and it only appears in four different tiles in a very large area every day and those four tiles change every single day so it's not like you could find that tile one day and then go back to it the next day and find a Feebas again those tiles will shift around in a very large area so it's very difficult to find and because of that it is renowned for being a difficult Pokemon to locate especially in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl but there is a tool that will help you to locate where these tiles are in your game and it includes no glitching, no anything, no outside sources, no hacking. It is a very clever tool that will help you by using a few things in game. So what we're going to do is hop over into game. We'll show you how you can get yourself Feebas really easy. The first place that we need to start out is Jubilife City. So if you come to Jubilife on your map, we need to pay a visit to the TV station because we need to get a lottery number for today. So every day you can enter the lottery and uh, you get generated a number. And this number is quite important. So this is the TV station here. You want to just come into this building. And as I say, the lottery number will kind of dictate against the IDs of the Pokemon you've got in your boxes if you win any prizes. But it's the number that we want. We don't worry about what prizes that we're going to win. So you want to come in, talk to this NPC behind the desk here and she will give you a number and like I say you want to write this number down when she generates it I'm going to use my phone just in my notes here and I would advise doing the same because once it's generated you're not going to be able to get the number back so five two six seven one like I say if you don't write this down you're not going to be able to get that number back until the next day where you get another lottery number generated. We didn't win anything, but that's fine. So the next place we want to go is Celestic Town. And then we're going to use a little tool to help us locate exactly where the Feebas will be in the tiles in the cave where we'll be going to catch it. So we're at Celestic Town, but like I say, we need to use a, a tool that has been provided by the, some people in the Pokemon community. And you've got to say, you've got to take your hats off to these people. There are some amazing people in the Pokemon community to uh, provide this tool. And as you can see, here it is. So the link to this will be down in the description. As you can see, this is the cavern. This is the area where Feebas will spawn in game. These are the tiles. So each different tile is a potential location with where Feebas can, can spawn. And it is worth noting at this point that you can't just surf around and encounter Feebas like that. You can only encounter Feebas by fishing. So you need a super rod or a good rod to do this. Uh, there's some instructions here with the guide. As you see, uh, either red or both green tiles can generate Feebas. This means that if one of the red tiles does not give you the Feebas, both green will. If you fish with a good or super rod and your lead Pokemon has Illuminate, Arena Trap or No Guard, every time you fish you will have a guaranteed hook. You can catch a Machoke with No Guard in the same room as you fish for Feebas, so that's helpful to know. If the map does not show up, uh, then reload the page. So that's just if this map here doesn't reload. So what you want to do is it got it's got down below all the text uh, today's lottery number. So you want to put that lottery number in. We jotted ours down. Five, two, six, seven, one. And then you want to just hit enter. And that will change the tiles. So now we can see on our map here, these tiles are where the Feebas will spawn. So it will either spawn in either the red ones, and if it doesn't spawn in the red ones, it will definitely spawn in the green ones. So rather than searching every single tile for Feebas, like you would have done without this tool, you can easily come to this tool, plug in your lottery number, and then you can go to the exact tile where Feebas is gonna spawn. So back in game, where do we need to go? Well, we need to take this route up to the mountain. So you wanna just follow where I'm going. It's probably worth whacking on a super repel. We'll put on a max repel. I've got so many of them just because I do a lot of chaining. So it's probably worth just putting them on now. I'm gonna have to just take this route. There are NPCs here, but you've, you've been through this area in game already when you play through. So you more than likely have beaten most of them. So it should be quite a seamless route. Obviously just to note as well that you're gonna need access to some of the HMs like uh, strength and defog so you're going to probably have to be a fair way into your game to uh, access this area 
and where we are going. So, pushing the rock, we want to go up this way, and then we want to come down these stairs. And this will take us to the cavern where Phoebus will be. And then we need our Poketch device. And I do have a Poketch guide on the way for those of you who are wanting to know where to get every single app in the game. So you can take advantage of that. We'll get rid of that. And then we come down to this cavern here. And like it says, if you've got um, a Pokemon with no guard, Arena Trap or Illuminate, it will guarantee a hook every time. So we could catch a Machoke here. Um, but I'm not going to for this. I don't think we'll need to. I don't think it's necessary. Um, but it may. It will help speed the process up. So what we want to do is come to this area here. And then we want to see where our green tiles are. And then kind of count along. So I'm just going to pull this map back up here so you can see down in the bottom hand corner there's the, the bottom left hand corner there is a little um rock next to the big boulder so and our green one is kind of horizontally along from that you can count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it's on the tenth tile where it will appear so we want to go nine from the rock okay so we want to go here. So it would be use the D-pad for this as well because it, it, you can get an exact tile movement. We're on one now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this would put us onto the tenth one in front of us right now. So what we want to do is go into our bag and we want to use our rod. It's just assign it as well. So it speeds up the process. And then we can drop in and hopefully we get the Feebas. So we got a hook straight away. Be great if it was the first one, especially for the guide, but I don't know. Wish cash. Okay. You're not going to get a first time because of the, the spawn rates of Feebas. They are quite low, um, but at least you know the tiles where to hunt. So you just need to literally just run from these battles and then just drop the rod into the water and then just kind of do it over and over again on these tiles and you should eventually get the Feebas. Gyarados. Right, we got a hook. Is this the one? Is this the Feebas? Oh, it's got good IVs, but it is just the wish cash. Am I... Right, is this the one? Is this the one? Here we go. Pokemon landed. No, just a wish cash. Right, another catch. Here we go. Just another wish cash. Okay, is this the one? I'm pretty sure it's got like a, I, I want to say like a 1% spawn rate. So even if you're on the right tile, it's a really hard, difficult Pokemon to get. Right, let's see. Landed a Pokemon. Is it this one? No. Not even a nibble. Come on, Phoebus. Where are you? Pokemon landed. Gyarados. Okay, we're going to try one of the other tiles because it doesn't feel like this green tile will get it. We're going to try the red tile here. So if we pull back up our map to see where we are, we can count along so we know it's nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So once we get to that ninth one where we were and then we want to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's on the ninth one up from that. So what we want to do is go one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this is where the tile we'd be. We want to go up because that would be the 10th tile nine. So we want to go up one, two, three, four, five. And then from this square, we're one, two, three up. One, two, three. And then the tile in front of us should be the Feebas tile. And this would be a red tile that we'll be searching on. So we'll see if this one yields any good nothing there i don't like this camera angle to be honest but okay we landed a pokemon is this the one? Oh, we got it finally it is one of the red tiles so the green tiles won't yield in anything if you're finding that move to the other tile and hopefully you encounter the Feebas we got it I can't believe it so after trying for a lot on that green tile we moved to a red tile that was there and we finally do get the Feebas so um, as you can see I'm just gonna knock the camera off so you can see it's level it is level 18 so it shouldn't be too hard to catch um, let's go for, yeah, Heal Ball's nice because it kind of matches up with something like Melotic, doesn't it? So this will look pretty sweet um, if we can get it. One, two shakes. 
three shakes and gotcha gotcha feebas so it wasn't too hard after all it's just moving around the tiles and just having patience with them and then checking the other tiles out and then seeing if that works so feebas added to data we get it so actually wasn't that hard a process i'm super happy just have a bit of patience with the whole method because i think it will be it will still be a hard thing to encounter although you do have the tiles where you can hunt so you've got four areas rather than hunting every single tile you know the areas that you're going to be able to use with that tool so um it, if you can see on here on on the map it was this red tile right here that we we kind of uh, we kind of spawned we attempted down on this green one to start with check this red one and it was there so you're going to have to check maybe some of the tiles there but doing that it is going to give you a way to get Feebas. Okay, so now we've got our Feebas. Uh, what we can do is breed Feebas and try and get for a flawless nature if you want or a shiny if you want. There are different um, options for you to go forward to. If you just want to evolve the one that you've got, there are a few different methods to evolve in Feebas in Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl. So one of the ways that you can do that is by feeding it poffins and raising its beauty. Now, the nature will help raise its beauty. Obviously, if you've got a nature like modest or quiet, um, that will kind of help you on your way to evolving it. The other thing is if you've got a prism scale, if you found though, those can be mined in the underground. Now, I don't believe that we've got a prism scale. Uh, I don't think we've found one yet. So yeah, we haven't actually found one. But if you get a prism scale from down in the underground, you can mine them down there. Uh, you can attach it and then trade Feebas with another Pokemon and then it will evolve. But there is a different method in the game to allow you to do this. And uh, you can come visit the Poffin house and just feed it. Poffins based on dry and blue colored items. So this is the Poffin house. Uh, you can come into here and uh, you can make puffins and uh, but we'll be covering a whole guide on puffins and how to create them so do stay tuned for that and uh, that will be able to kind of help you on your way if you can't find a prism scale down in the underground from mining because they are pretty rare item but if you get a prism scale it is an easy way to do it but again you can do it all in game without needing a trade partner by uh, raising its beauty and giving it puffins so that is the feebas guide friends and um, a massive shout out to the the people behind creating the uh, the tool that you can use with your lottery ID to um, to catch Feebas and get yourself a, uh, a potential Melotic in the game pretty easily, um, whereas it would have been a near impossible task otherwise, and it would have been a huge time consumer. So I hope you found today's guide useful, and I wish you all the luck in the world when you are hunting for Feebas. Just make sure when you get your lottery ID that you jot it down, and be aware that there are going to be situations where you put your lottery ID into the tool and it will give you four tiles that are on rocks so there are going to be some days where you aren't going to be actually able to go to an active tile where feebas will be will be obtainable in that cavern so there are going to be rare situations where those four tiles are going to appear over the boulders where you can't fish so in that situation you're going to have to wait till the following day get a new lottery id um, and then put it in and hope that the tiles do appear on the water. So there are going to be those rare situations. So if you are wondering, uh, if you do it and that happens, that's what you're going to have to do. You just wait 24 hours, get your next lottery uh, generated number and then plug it in again. And then hopefully you get some tiles that are active where you can fish in and then you can go and hunt for that Feebas. So thank you so much for tuning in, friends. If you've got any questions, just leave them down in the comment section. I'll make sure to get back to each and every one of you. Have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves more importantly than anything else and i'll see you on the next one so until then take care and bye bye